Okay, today uh, I'm going to run through some network diagnostics with you. Um, you know, you may be facing a situation where you have no internet connectivity, so you phone your broadband provider, you know, Sky, BT, whoever, and the the guy goes, um, oh, have you run any diagnostics, um, any local diagnostics? Well, what does he mean? He means, um, basically he means, have you checked your router? Have you checked um, your local area network for connectivity? Can you access those devices? You know, for for someone who um, doesn't have a lot of um, networking experience or knowledge, um, this can be quite beneficial. So um, I'm just going to run th uh, run through a few things first view just to get the basics under the belt. So. A local area network. What what's a network? Um, a network is um, a um, you know is a system comprised of host devices that talk to each other. You know, share information. Um, the network you know has its uh, there's many different types. There's a local area network, a wide area network. You know, typically um, your home network is classed as a LAN, a local area network, and the internet is classed as WAN, wide area network. So, some more detail. So, basically, we want to go to the Open Network Sharing Center, and we want you can access it like that, or you can access it from Control Panel. Doesn't matter either way. And we want to basically okay. So here we have the uh, a diagram of a topology. Well, it's not really a topology, but. A basic diagram showing connectivity between um, you and the internet. You, LT, well, that's me, and your router, Home 1C, and the internet. So from here, your your PC to the router is local connection. From the router to internet, so what I've done there, router to internet is a public internet connection. Um, so basically, um, we've got connection to the internet here, showing us that. Um, take this with a pinch of salt, because I've had experiences where the connection to the internet is shown as up, when in actual fact it's down, um, and I've had to verify it otherwise, but I'll show you that lo later on in the video. So let's go into our wireless adapter. Okay, so you may be connected to your network um, in one of two ways. Um, you have a wireless connection, like I am, or you may have a wired connection. Um, if you had a wired connection, it would be local area connection adapter, blah, 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 whatever it's called, and you just click it the same way. Basically, um, it's, you know, it's sim um, similar. The, ba the basics are a bit similar. So uh, let's run through these values. IP connectivity, IPv4 connectivity, internet. So I have through, so what's IPv4? IPv4 is a type of address. Um, your computer and all hosts that connect on the internet have an IP address. There are two versions of IP address. I'll explain what IPv6 means in a minute. But IPv4 is the um, first type of IP um, address, believe it or not, even though it says version 4. Um, and it uh, allows you to basically talk to different things on the network and over the internet. Um, uh, what can I use this name? Okay, so basically, uh, think of your street and house numbers. Uh, when the postman comes to de deliver your mail, so like the network tries to deliver traffic to you, to your computer, or um, sends traffic from the internet, you, um, the postman would deliver that information, that letter, to your house. Um, he has a reference point because your house is numbered along the street. Um, just like the computers are numbered in the network, they're numbered with an address, you know. So, IPv4 connectivity, we have internet access to that. IPv6, IPv6 is the newest format of IP addresses. Uh, basically, because IPv4 addresses are running out publicly, publicly um, the guys who develop the, the standards um, for internet connections, and blah, 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 um, have developed IPv6, which um, I think, from memory, can hold about... Uh, Oh, I'm not going to say. <laughs> I think it's um, you know a hundred thousand times more addresses than we currently have, um, or a hundred billion, whatever. 
Um, so basically, there's a lot more IPv6 addresses. Um, we don't have no network access. We have no network access, rather, because I'm not using IPv6 locally to connect to my network. Media state, self-explanatory. Our wireless network adapter is enabled. SSID, SID, Home1C. Basically, that's the name of my wireless network. Um, the name of your wireless network would appear here. Duration, so I've been connected for 2 hours and 21 minutes. Speed. The speed at which my router is my wireless router is providing me information so 65 megabits per second don't get that confused with megabytes megabytes uh, a byte is um, 8 bits basically so a lot more information than what so 65 megabytes would be a lot more than what megabits is signal quality um, Microsoft measures the um, wireless signal strength of an algorithm and displays the result here. It's not always accurate. Um, at the moment, it probably is because I'm in the furthest reach of my house, uh, far far away from the router where it's quiet. Um, okay, so down here, activity. So we have sent bytes. We have sent information onto the network. Um, We've sent 10.666 million bytes on the network and we've received 385 million. So don't worry too much about that. Details. So this is a lot more uh, in depth detail of your network connection. So as I said before, we have um, an IPv4 address. 192.168.072 is um, an IPv4 address. Subnet mask, IPv4 subnet mask, basically tells. Um, Devices which network to send to, you know, it's, it's uh, there's a more of an explanation to it than that, but that's the basic gist of it for basic network understanding. Uh, lease obtained, so our our address was assigned by a DHCP server. Um, it's enabled. Yes, we get we are configured to receive a DHCP address, dynamic host configuration protocol address from our server, which in this case is our router. Um, so the lease obtained so when we are assigned address we're assigned a lease um, with that address so we can lease it for a certain time typically 12 hours can vary um, you know vary for each network um, before I go on physical address so your physical address is burned hard is you know is hard coded into your adapter your wireless adapter or your local area connection adapter what this is is allows local um, network talk so when your two local devices two PCs want to talk to each other on the network and they're on the same network they'll use the MAC address physical address to talk to each other um, okay so we have default gateway which is basically our router um, this is the gateway to the internet um, which is why it's called default gateway um, any any uh, information that's destined to the internet will get sent to the router, and the router will deal with it. It will either send it on, or um, you know, send it to where it needs to go. IPv4 DHCP server. We've explained that. Uh, IPv4 DNS server, domain name system server. So what this is is again, it's our router. Our router is resolving host names. So rather than having an IPv4 address. A device may have a host name. Um, it's just easier to not talk to and keep track of. Um, that server resolves host names to IP addresses. So, if, for instance, you wanted to talk to a device named PC One, uh, providing there's an entry in a DNS server for PC One, the DNS server will see that um, this you want to talk to PC One, and it will tell you that PC One is on address one nine two one six eight dot zero dot whatever. You know, IPv4 win server, don't worry. Net BIOS, don't worry. <coughs> Sorry, link local IPv6 address, don't worry because we're not using it. A link local address is always assigned by default. You don't need to know about that. Okay, so now we've got a basic understanding of how our network works and what's the components involved. Uh, let's do some troubleshooting. So what we're going to do uh, just for now is we're going to verify connections to our router. Um, basically, this tell us that.